And look, this transcends politics. Um, this is uh, this is about bringing Americans home. By the time we got there, it's not just news. I mean, these are friends calling and saying, hey, um, we've got somebody that we know that's over there. Or there's a family from New York that knows somebody that knows a senator that's emailing me. And uh, uh, that was Omar Nutra. And then uh, we get a call from a North Carolinian saying, um, we've got two North Carolinians that are being held by Hamas. And we don't know their status. And then we hear they're alive. In the video, you can see Keith Siegel in a black shirt standing against a blank wall. Speaking to the camera in Hebrew, he says, I want to tell my family that I love you very much. Yeah. That's Keith and Aviva. So, Aviva was there about 50 days. Um, and then, so that go from October 7th to Thanksgiving, and around Thanksgiving, she was released. We met with her shortly after, and you know we wanted to hear the story, what they're hearing as families, to give them the assurance that we're not letting up on this, and this is our top priority. We were able to visit uh, Kibbutz near Oz, uh, that was you know tragically invaded in the, um, early morning hours of October seventh. And as we toured it, we were, uh, Jonathan Deckelhand was able to give us the tour. His son, Sagi, uh, was captured and uh, was held hostage. Jonathan, um, you know, as tough as it is on him, he gave us a very clear tour. He took us in his home. We were able to see where the, the rocket propelled grenades went through the walls, uh, the bullet pock marks in children's room, uh, in children's room, just the, the, the things that were torn apart the devastation, the destruction, uh, just the cruelty of Hamas. These are peace communities. They would go over to Gaza and take their needy from Gaza in their own vehicles and take them to high quality Israeli hospitals, get them treatment, get the Gazans treatment, and then bring them back. And how are they repaid? But Gazans breaking down the fence, Hamas breaking down the fence, kidnapping Israelis, American citizens, brutally raping, torturing, putting babies in the oven. It's the worst of worst. And that's how they were, they were paid their neighbors who wanted peace. So the aggressor, it's not Israel, it's Hamas. If Israel laid down her arms today, she would be destroyed by Hamas and her neighbor to the north in Hezbollah. But if laid, laid down their arms, Hezbollah, uh, the, uh, Hamas, then, I mean, there would be peace in the region. So to those in Gaza, my message is really clear. Release the hostages now. Renounce terrorism and recognize Israel's right to exist. So people wonder, it's a year on, there's still hostages. So are you gonna quit? Are you gonna move on? I mean, this Washington DC is riddled with distraction, but we're still focused on this every single day. We're gonna see it all the way through.